everyone, and welcome back to another episode of My Time at Sand Rock. We can probably take this off, yeah? It's sunny! I'll leave it in my inventory, though. We have mail. Chi. Need to speak with you immediately. Come to the research center. Whoa. Okay. Hello. More water? Whoa. So first of all, I need I need to attend the, the picnic. Whoa, what is that over there? There are so many blues. So many blues. What am I to do? Okay, ranch part time, and that should just be easy. Picnic. What's happening up here, though? Alright, let's see what the world has to offer. Everyone's going to church. Howdy. Sure. Yeah. LC, move. First of all, I want your birthday. Fine weather today, by my estimation. Reminds me of the day I was born. Yep, that's right. 22nd of summer. I remember it like it was yesterday. What? You don't remember being born? Mm -hmm. Must be a rancher thing. Yep, I reckon the clouds are aligned much in the same way what they are today. Which reminds me of an amusing antidote involving a pair of spoons I used to play on. I... Yeah. I, I just need to go. Goodbye. Everyone's teleporting. Can I see about this inspection stuff that I never do? It's here, right? What do I do here? The object on the left is perfect, but the one on the right has a problem. Rotate the objects and find the problem with the object on the right. Zoom in to look at the details. Every time a defect is successfully found, a correct mark will appear. The number of defects remaining will be represented by question marks. Select a spot if you think you see a difference. Each check uses up a chance to find a defect. If you run out of chances, it's okay. You can try again. Oh, we can try again. Okay. The item on the left is an example. It has no defects. You can only interact with the item on the right. If you're having trouble, use a magnifying glass to get a hint. After a round, you can select review to see which defects you missed. Oh, what? Oh my goodness. Okay, well, okay, I check with this. I see. It was being weird. I was like, huh? You check with the right click. There's one more defect. Where is it? Hmm. I couldn't tell you guys. I could not tell you guys. I honestly don't know! Oh, right here. <laughs> okay, then we can do this for all of them? <laughs> Super easy. looks out of place, I'm gonna be honest. I found it. Oh my god, this is so cute! Cool, we get money for this and reputation? Oh, this one's like hard. Whoa! huge <laughs> the 
think it has a face there. Oh, it's sticking out too. How am I supposed to realize what is wrong with this thing? If I just start clicking on things. I don't know if I have the patience for this because I don't know. It said I could try again, it lied. said I could try again it lied whatever we're done oh wait the commissions I was supposed to pick some up wait go back in Hugo bloodstone saws you need five of those Okay, game, wake up. What is happening here? Okay, let's do the picnic first, because that's what we were doing. Owen was telling me that there used to be a lot of people in Sandrock. I can't really imagine it. Are we not? You know, I was hoping I'd see something shimmering today, and sure enough, here you are with those great big gleaming eyes of yours. I can hardly look away. Buy something? Arvio, are you kidding me? I don't know why it's- is it 9 a.m. we have to be there? This is a tin the picnic, but it won't let me. There's a lot going on today. Welcome. I have something very exciting to show you today. Using the R47 Power Core Ultra, I was able to channel upwards of 10 gigajoules per second of energy out of condensed power stones without encountering any significant losses in efficiency. The amplitude and frequencies of vibrations at higher dual inputs seem to be minimalized by an advanced internal stabilizer in the compression chamber, averting electrothermal heat displacement. It's literally bending the law of thermodynamics. Why are we here? I've designed a power suit running on the R47 Power Core Ultra. It will greatly enhance the speed at which we can rebuild the bridge. It's a design I came up with at Vega 5, but I never believed we'd actually find the energy output to put it into practice. My inspiration for it comes from something very obscure, something you two never would have heard of. Okay. Isn't this one of the robots from that old world entertainment show? What was it? Gungums? <laughs> Gundams? Um, must be a bizarre coincidence. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that. Why would I be watching some random, obscure old world entertainment show? I don't know. Why would you? Entertainment, that's In why. In any case, this will be very useful. I was planning on using cranes, but with this, we can save a lot on the budget. Good job, director. 
If I ever get my hands on any other R57 cores, I'll be able to manifest even more superior designs. <laughs> uh, here's the diagram for it. I All right. Mean, it looks exactly like one of the Gungam robots. And look at the time. <laughs> we have a lot of work to do, so I bid you both good day. He's definitely watched Hi. it. When you're done with this Gungam mobile suit, give it to me. We should have the budget for it. I heard that. <laughs> okay, what do Howdy. you need? How'd you find the latest sandstorm? Got a grain of sand stuck up in your eyelid yet? Oh, that's the worst. But hey, looks like our sand rock's still standing. At least that's something. Nothing to fear. Is that so? Most folks take a lot longer to get used to them. Glad you aren't scared. But don't forget to be careful out there, all right? Sandstorms are nothing to mess around with. Hey, since you're here, let me tell you what I've been working on lately. It's got to do with sandstorms, actually. Introducing the single action, near perfect, and dependable weather and arid lint limiter. What? Also known as the sand wall. Once installed in your home, it'll be your last and only line of defense against the worst flying sands of the free cities. Yeah, okay. It's basically just okay. a regular wall to help keep the sand from a storm out of your yard with the press of a button. But, uh, whatever works, right? Anyway, sure. the prototype is almost finished. I've sent some of my diagrams over to Mia and, and... Say, you want in on this little connivance? I'll even sweeten the pot for you. Bring me the stuff we're missing, and I'll get you a sand wall at your workshop on the house. <laughs> well, for a good price anyway. Sure, I'll help out. Great. Well, if it turns out you can help, come find me over at Construction Junction. Then we can start turning that workshop of yours into the home of your dreams. So long as your dreams involve sand walls. All right. So what do we need to do? Switchboard. I need that. How do I attend the picnic? I want to attend this picnic. What was that? Oh, I thought it was sparkling. It was just smoke. Maybe now it's after nine I can attend the picnic? Let's try. Took someone's jerky. <gasps> oh my goodness! Oh heck yeah! Hi. Hey. The shadow's not even covering the blanket we're on. asleep well I'm gonna eat some bread hey um I thought the whole point of dragging you out here was getting you to relax so relax a book and quiet I am relaxing or at least I was ah uh, don't be like that you're going to wreck your posture half the time hunks over a book and the other half a pottery wheel before you know it, you're gonna look like you're pushing 90 whoa This, of course, is the only way to properly relax with a book. The uh, sun, it burns. I'm melting. Save me. Oh. What the hell? Well, you should have tilted the umbrella. I didn't know I was going to have a quick time event. So now that you're out, you're having fun, aren't you? You know it's not easy convincing you, don't you? Hmm. Indeed. You see, this is what you get when you win an argument with my sister. Hours of back-breaking labor, all by terse acknowledgement at best. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Which is all completely worthwhile. In any case, I think this all proves that I ought to be listened to once in a while. To constructive advice, brother. Of course. I'm all ears. 
But do remember that we didn't leave the harshness of Barnrock just to lie around here with books on our faces. Oh, I pray that you sleep no more at that place. My heart can hardly handle its very mention. Have you ever been to Barnrock? Never. There is an old Barnrock saying, when it rains, it pours. Not in Barnrock, because it never rains, no pours. But, nah, well, it's okay for us to say it. I wouldn't go starting that one off as a foreigner. Our home is on a plateau. And it gets hot during the summer and very cold during the winter. With little else to make up for it. No resources, no farmland, no opportunities. I guess the cantaloupes aren't half bad. I had to work in a crawler all day. And then I didn't have a cool boss like Rocky. One can only bear so much humiliation for daily bread. Finally, I just quit. And shortly after, Amira and I made the journey here to Sandrock. Sounds rough. This place has its faults, but one mustn't forget to see the trees or the forest. I might not be so impartial, but I've never enjoyed such freedom as being my own boss here in Sandrock. And it's all because you brought me here and helped me get started, Am. I won't forget your kindness. We're family. Besides, you have also been a great help to me. The true kindness is that of our parents. They gave up everything to send us here. Don't you worry. Pretty soon my shop is going to be raking it in. I'll take care of Ma and Pa. You just enjoy life. Confidence is one thing, brother. But perhaps you should wait to boast till after you've a little more to show for yourself. You can flirt with Arvio. I don't think I want to marry Arvio. <laughs> I think, I just, I just, I'm okay. We do admire his courage, though. He did come out here to start with nothing. Huh, you hear that? I'm on the right track. Oh, brother. Don't get cocky, Arvio. Need I remind you of the cash crunch incident involving your supplier not long ago? Oh, come on, Am. That's so last year. <laughs> Let's live in the present. Oh, boy. Have you tasted the food? That Owen, what a genius! You need to get the recipe. Oh, brother. What? <laughs> Why do you say what? That was an RV omission. Owen was telling me that there used to be a lot of people in Sandrock. I want to fight with Amira. I want to see how she reacts. All right, we still have a lot to do. Something's over here, and then part-time work for Owen. All right, since we're this close to whatever is over here, let's go over here. Stand up for yourself. Is this about Pablo again? Who's out here? <laughs> Who's? Oh, it's Amira. <sighs> Are you right? Oh, I didn't hear the sound of your footsteps. Are you also out for a walk to ease your mood as well? Sorry about what happened with the photos. Hmm? There's no need for you to apologize. I don't blame Avio either. I'm just annoyed at those tourists. How could people act like that? Because they're scummy. In fact, it was a rather nasty situation. I suppose I hadn't properly thanked you for your assistance. Do you regularly make a habit of helping strangers? I wouldn't call us strangers. In any case, it was very kind of you. A rather nice contrast to the behavior of those tourists. Oh, yeah? I've had them bother me with various propositions before, but that was the worst thing by far. What does that mean? What did they proposition you for? I try to sort myself out when I take my walks and try to tell myself not to let these things get to me. But let's just say... I've been taking a lot of walks lately. Dance? I'll teach you how to deal with creeps? <laughs> deal with them? Hmm. I'm not so sure. I tend to avoid conflict. What would you have me say? <laughs> Is that in reference to, uh, oh god, what's the movie called? The Holy Grail? <laughs> if you guys haven't seen it, it's a comedy. Very funny. 
Yeah, just confront them directly. Have you no sense of decency? <sighs> Worth a try. Assuming they do indeed have any decency to speak of. <clears throat> Excuse me, all of you. I'd prefer you show me a bit more respect. You can do better than that. Hmm? Exactly as you said? I don't know if I could be that rude. Come on, you got it. Um, alright. I'll take a swing at it. <clears throat> Have you no sense of decency? Ooh! Yes! The foot stomp! Um, it seems I've got a bit carried away. Though, in a way, I felt kind of nice. I bet! Alright, thank you. I will take your counsel to heart. This view is nice, but I've seen enough. Don't worry about me. Even if you hadn't come along, I would have found some way to deal with this issue. I always do. I must go. We'll talk some other time, Builder. Builder. Nice. Owen was telling- See ya. Okay, yeah, Amira, you gotta stand up for yourself. Fuck these dudes. Alright. Alright, did I do the quest that I picked up? No. I don't know if I can do that one. We'll try. Also, it looks like we might get a lot more water that will leak out- Oh god, I fell down here. Um, into the valley, which may look really cool in the future. I don't know how we get there, but I can't wait to see it. We haven't seen Fang today. Does he go to church? Those are people, right? Well, one's a mirror. That's no, Coco. Oh, yeah, it's just a mirror. She didn't leave. <laughs> okay, I was just making sure Fang wasn't out here. I don't even know if he goes to church. What the? Oops. There we go. I have enough. I need to go to the Commerce Guild store, though. Are they both at church? Perfect. Let me buy this recipe and then we'll go up there ourselves. Easy peasy. I'm glad it gives me a little exclamation mark on what I need. Cool. Coo coo coo! And instead of running, we'll be smart, and we'll take the yak mill. There's also a thing happening up there. Oh, that's Owen, right? I just, I knew that, and I was still questioning it. Oh no, there was something else going on up here, wasn't there? Minister, I beg of you to Whoa. reconsider. I've told you, Miguel, the people won't stomach another water tax hike. They're stretched thin as it is. In front of everyone? Folks could even afford it. Every oh, penny, Minister. Know this. What I know is this. Now is a time of tribulation for our people. We need not burden them any further. But this project will add cost. Uh-oh. It inspires oh, hope. We can afford it. We're spending our goals on frivolities. Meaningless eyesores. We're spending our goals on our people. We're giving someone a chance to make a day's earnings and an opportunity to make a difference in this town. That, to me, is priceless. Hi. Well, now, always in the right place at the right time, aren't we, Builder? That's good. I think Miguel may require a bit of assistance. I must be going, but be a dear and help him, won't you? Hmm, yes. 
help. That's right, Builder. A moment of your time, please. What's up? What do you need? According to some, the church needs a new mural in the temple. Oh. The church would be highly appreciative if you could work with our town's artists to manifest these vague requests. The minister thinks that certain effigies of our faith are uninviting. Will you assist us? You don't agree with her? Hmm, heard us, did you? It's not my place to question the minister. She has the final say in matters these days, and I must respect that. However much I may disagree with her decisions. Okay. She gave rather limited notes on the specifics. Nevertheless, I would expect Pablo or Amira should be able to produce a painting of sufficient quality. Okay. If we're conscious of budget, perhaps even Jasmine could be recruited to our Oh house. my goodness. <laughs> the church has allocated 1,000 goals for the project. Here you are. What remains afterwards will be your commission for the frame. Return to me when you have the items in question. Be swift, Builder. Here you go. <laughs> Ooh, hey, Owen. Oh. Uh, sure. Uh -huh. Oh, he gives us the seeds. He gives us the seeds. Like train cars. We're all connected. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Plus two. Wow, I didn't know that. I can donate once a day. Okay. Whoa. Still need to talk to Morton Rian. Is Rian here? Matilda's here. I can't talk to her. Well, today, people we'll be talking about question, struggle. We wouldn't be in this mess. R Rian is here. He's next to Jasmine. I want to be a pastor. Hey, hmm. when I was born, it was too hot, man. Oh, the yeah, 19th of summer. Oh, but it shaved me. Yeah, I was how luxurious of resorts. Oh my god. Popsicles when my birthday was coming up, which led me to have a lot of popsicle sticks, which I'm pretty sure led me to become a carpenter. Facts. Jesus, y'all are like so loud. Can't talk to Matilda. Crystal's not, uh, oh yeah, she is. Is she here? Where's Cooper? Oh, he's on that side. Uh-huh. Well, I've already well, talked to you about your fair. birthday. Sure, I'd like a fancy old world wine uh -huh. machine, but you don't see me complaining. Do you like this? We get dealt it's one hand. Really Ain't no change in the cards. Crystal. Hmm. My hubby Rocky, his birthday is on the second day of the first season, and mine is on the first day of the second season. I like we to think that makes it connected on some like cosmic level, like two sides of the same calendar. Yeah, oh jeez. I'm trying to read so fast. Hugo. Is he here? Come on, hopped up on the word of the light. Oh my gosh. What happened? I need to get out of this. I'm getting like oversensitized or something, whatever the word is. Alright. That means we can go plant these seeds that he gave us. I didn't realize he gave us the seeds. <laughs> so we'll do that. And then we have some other quests to do, right? How much money do we have? 11,000? Can we, uh, can we expand? Should we expand? Copper screw, copper wire.
Okay, so he gave us stuff. He gave us the ingredients. Sweet potato pepper seeds. What seeds does he need us to make? Sweet potato. And then we'll we'll do some fertilizing. And there we go. We'll wait for that. How long did it say actually? Seven days. What? Eight days. Okay. I was like, huh? Yeah, sure. So I need bronze sticks. What was that noise? Okay, we also need to make this thing, this Gundam. Though we can't say that. How much to make this? Hmm. Tempered glass. How do we make tempered glass? Silver furnace. Alright, let's take that off. All right, let's start over. Let's start with the, the actual main story, robot. It's so cute. And we did it. Hang on, does every machine have some dust on it? Kinda does. Okay, I think everything's okay. Ah, uh, thank everything. Look at this. We have like no scrap to do. ceramic plates look at that I need more copper ore we'll wait on that one oh we need two We just need one? Am I tripping? What do we need? Mm. One more. Kinda look cute in this little outfit that we have going on. Um, we have to talk to Pablo.
We'll wait for this and then talk to Pablo. Gecko finished. Wait, we're also waiting for this. Oops. Alright, let's go talk to Pablo, I guess. just now? How dare he? How dare he leave? A painting? For the church. Yep. Darling, I'm afraid I must respectfully <gasps> decline. My art is suitable for museums, gallerias, and possibly poetry jam coffee shops if they're chic enough. I can hardly think of a place less hip than the church, I'm afraid. Oh my goodness. Perhaps the lovely Amira would be up to your task. Oh my god, okay, fine. We'll ask Amira. Hey, girl! Welcome. Is there something I can help you with? A mural for the temple. It's a wonderful idea. But a mural that size will take some time. And that's not something I have a lot of. Still, since you'll be putting aside your work to make the frame, perhaps I can do the same. It's a tough job, though, and with things being tight lately, I'm afraid I can't offer a sizable discount. Okay, that's fine. So it will be a thousand goals. Wow. Would that work for your budget? Sure, it's a big Wonderful. job. I'll get started right away. I'll send it to you when I'm done. Cool. Can we talk to Matilda? Hello. Hmm? My birthday? Well, if you must know, it's the 24th of autumn. But don't bother yourself with any gift. Donate something to the church. That'd make me more pleased than pie after harvest. What if Take I do both? Easy. What if I do both? Okay, since everyone's here, who do I need to get... Whose birthday do I need to know? Mort. He's not gonna be here. Crystal, Cooper... Ernest, Katori, and Zeke. Katori! Hello! Hmm? My birthday is the 16th of autumn. Yeah, don't remind me. Catch you later. What else did I say? Who else did I say? Who's next to Katori? Ernest Zeke. I don't see Ernest or Zeke. And... Hugo's not here. Okay, that's fine. So we're waiting for Amira. Let's go get our bronze sticks, maybe? Actually, let's go to Chi. Hey, buddy. Oh, Heidi? Here you go. So this is it. The definitely not a Gunga mobile suit. <laughs> While you were working, I factored this thing into my construction plan, and with it, We'll be able to finish what's left of the what? bridge base oh. in just two days. And since that's the case, I'll send word to Atara and have them send us a bridge inspector on the double. We'll have water trains back in Sandrock in no time flat. That she really has an amazing mind. He does. So you'll never hear <laughs> me say it to him. 
If his head got any more full of hot air, I think he might just float away. <laughs> and we need him here, don't we? Well, That's thanks funny. again for all your efforts. I'll show Chi your work. I think he'll be very impressed with how faithful you've been to his design. Be ready to install those load barren trusses you built before. Any luck with those materials? Oh my well, god. No rush. I, I, I'm trying to, I'm trying. No Heidi friendship? Man, the girls that are prettiest to me right now is Heidi, Amira, and Katori. Like, why are they so pretty? What they got to be pretty for? I didn't get to see Fang today. Not Fang. Do you think he's at his clinic? We could go over and see. We need to talk to Mort anyway. I also realize it's never going to rain here, is there? Maybe when... I don't know how the story's going to progress, but I'm assuming we're going to bring water back to Sandrock. Maybe then we can get some rain? Oh, please tell me I can come in here. Wait, did we talk to Fane? I don't remember. We have not. Hey. Just, okay, dot, dot, dot. You're just dot, dot, dotting me? I think he's really cute, though. I want to know more about him first. He did a lot of talking telling us his birthday. But otherwise, not much else. Hey, Mort, are you here? Are you in your house, mayhaps? Graveyard Shack? Not even his house? Oh, hey. My birthday? It's in, isn't it the seventh of summer? Who could say, really? Who could say? I would hope you would say. What the heck? Ernest. That's the only and Zeke. Ernest and Zeke. Which I guess I could have went to Zeke's farm. I think I've done enough. I know I could teleport over, but I don't even know if he'll let me in. I think we've done enough. <laughs> Tomorrow we'll do... We're waiting for a mirror to finish, and then we'll turn in our Fortress of Sanitude to Heidi. Is there a time limit on this stuff? No. Except for his, but his is growing. And then in two days we'll be able to install these things, so that'll be really cool. Alright, let's get back to our... our I was gonna say our farm, our workshop. Let's get back to our workshop. We also need to take another dive into the, the ruins over there to get more copper ore. Ooh, some things are ready to harvest. Sand rice. Just growing now. Cool. Uh, we'll turn that in tomorrow. We're making sure it didn't have a time limit and it doesn't. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.